Zardis powers a U.S. lithium refiner to watch one of the largest domestic projects under development, and the company is aligned with national priorities, supply chain resilience, critical minerals, and energy independence. So with me is Roshan Pujari, the CEO, and with viewers that are new to Sardis Power, just get glad the groundwork. What is the company all about? Happy to. But first of all, Jane, always great to see you great and be with you. you. Oh, yeah. Happy to be on New to the Street. Um, so Stardust Power, as you mentioned, we are building what is one of, if not the largest lithium refineries in America. Battery grade lithium is essential for American energy, security and independence. It's the critical component that goes in to batteries from everything to iPhones and other cell phones to EVs and energy storage system. So right now, most of this battery grade material is processed in China and sent back to OEMs. So it's of critical importance that we start onshoring manufacturing of critical minerals such as lithium. Yeah. And um, so what differentiates Stardust Power from others in the lithium space? Yeah, we're really focused on the processing part. America is blessed with a lot of natural resources, potentially the fourth largest reserves in the world. What we're lacking and what the bottleneck in the supply chain is, is in refining process, taking a lithium chloride to a battery grade lithium carbonate. So we're really focused on that. We're building a f up to 50,000 ton per annum conversion facility of battery grade lithium carbonate in two different phases. Phase one, the first 25,000 tons. And we can be a partner for those developers raw materials and producing upstream assets. Now, the U.S. government has made news taking stakes in some rare earth companies. Um, what does that signal to you, the broader market, about kind of the, the mission and the strategy of the Trump administration? Yeah, you know, critical mineral production has never been so important for national security as we've seen with China regulating the exports of these critical materials. So the Trump administration and previous administrations have been very aggressive in this, but Mr. Uh, the President Trump has been extra uh, working in the field by taking direct stakes in companies like MP Materials, like Trilogy Metals, signifying how important it is that we onshore this production. And at Sardis Power, we welcome the government's involvement and see them as a strategic partner in building these large-scale pieces of infrastructure. So how would you see the Stardust Power then fitting into the entire U.S. supply of, of energy? Our large central refinery is a critical piece of national infrastructure because it serves as the cornerstone of our critical materials production. So currently there's a lot of developers and producers upstream um, creating, you know, extracting lithium from various sources such as brine, but they have nowhere to process their materials. Really their only solution would be to send it to China for processing and then back to you know, they're, they're off takers, they're OEMs. So by building a large central refinery, we're a big piece of that infrastructure. And we've optimized our large central refinery to take in multiple sources of brine input. So we can take supply from a range of different companies and um, allowing them a place to sell their products. So what's driving your speed to market? What's next for Stardust Power? You know, it's 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 so important that we bring on this production domestically with the current demand and projected demand, you know, continually increasing. It's important that we get to production as soon as possible. So we've been really thoughtful on schedule. We've been pushing our project, de-risking it substantially from owning our land, from doing the site due diligence. Um, to the engineer report. Our next step is a final investment decision where we can then st um, start major construction and build this. It takes a couple of years to build it and then commission. And how does the Muskegee project in Oklahoma, uh, how does that impact the economy there as well as the broader U.S. economy? Yeah, you know, uh, we're getting great support in Muskogee, Oklahoma, and the hundreds of high paying next generation um, jobs it provides are well received. So we've been really active. Uh, Muskogee is a former uh, in manufacturing zone. So they really understand these large projects. And then from a national perspective, it's important for America's energy security 
and lots of gigafactories being developed all over the country, but very little supplies of raw materials such as battery grade lithium to go into it. So protecting American economic competition, American security, especially in these changing geopolitical times has never been more important. Yeah. Now, Asardis Power recently completed a study. Um, it was a milestone uh, for advancing the refinery project. So tell us about the study. What was it? Walk us through what it means for the company. We recently completed our FEL3 engineering study with Primero USA, a leading EPC in this space. And this was an important milestone, very expensive study that locks in our capex of around 500 million, which great to know it was a savings of $200 million over previous estimates. And we've been able to do that by being smart and efficient in our design. Um, creating modular structures off-site that we can bring to the site, being really efficient with our layout. And the, the fellow level three engineering study also gives a construction timeline. It gives a equipment list and short, uh, it, it creates a vendor list, everything we need to go start building this. And now we're taking the extra step of having an independent engineering firm validate um, our, our findings for the benefit of stakeholders and investors and we look forward to having that report done soon. Okay, so finally, how should investors think about Stardust Power in terms of the overall U.S. energy transition? Yeah, you know, it is a, a such an important part as we all know how important batteries are from energy storage systems for AI in data centers, as well as electric vehicles. And with China selling more and more EVs, that's creating a further increase in demand that might lock US uh, producers out of battery grade lithium. So having this ability to produce these large amounts of battery grade lithium is important for our economic competition now, and especially as we move forward over the next years. I think investors should be happy to note that we can raise a lot of this project finance at the asset level. We don't need to f dilute the public company necessarily, um, and investors have shown an interest in, in investing in the asset level, the refinery itself. Roshan, thank you so much for the update, and I look forward to additional ones in the future. Thanks. Always great to see you, Jane. Thanks for having me on.